Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying ENC's. These are heavenly hunks. They all say ridiculously amazing. Uh, I have the oatmeal white chocolate, the oatmeal chocolate chip. Um, this one is the peanut butter chocolate and white chocolate cranberry. These are, they're all gluten-free cookies. They're non-GMO, uh, vegan. Uh, they were $3.49 each at Home Goods, and they might very well have other flavors, but if you know Home Goods, they just kind of Throw smash everything in. And we were lucky to find these four, honestly, because they were not all together at all. They were all in different parts of the shelf. Um, so these are Ellen and Casey is what it says. Uh, we started ENC's in 2013 from a family recipe Ellen created 30 years ago. It's a secret known only to us, but our mission of baking with love and real ingredients is at the heart of everything we do. We start the creation process in our kitchen using the kind of ingredients you'd find in your own cupboards. Once we have something we love, we can't wait to share it. We hope you'll love our heavenly hunks as much as we do. To learn more about our story, check us out online, Ellen and Casey. And so it's um, it's ENC Snacks. It's Eden Prairie, Minnesota is where they're made, encsnacks.com. There are six servings in the oatmeal white chocolate. One hunk is 110 calories. So that means there's six hunks in here. Mm -hmm. Six hunks for three forty nine. So we'll see. Uh, no, it doesn't. We'll see. And I think uh, they're soft, or at least they feel like they're soft in the back. Okay. I had to. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this bag out, and then we'll we'll know how much you get. So this is what you get for three forty nine. They're not dipped in anything or anything. Like they're just literally squares of cookie. Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to half one for us. I don't know if you can hold that up or not. It's very pale. That's the, this is the inside. And this is kind of the outside. You could probably cut one of those in half on this one. Okay. Yeah, they're very good size hunks. Mm. Good flavor. Mm hmm They remind you of a no-bake cookie, mm -hmm. like the oatmeal peanut butter ones. Um, this have coconut. No, lots of coconut in there. Yeah. They don't say coconut. But no, but it has. To, uh, yeah. Um, that doesn't have yes. coconut. Yeah. Coconut shreds. Mm hmm I think it's delicious. So it's good. It has some. I was wondering also if it didn't have some kind of nut in it, like a macadamia. It's nut. just a little bit dry, but I think it that's is normal dry. with with the ingredients, with the oats and the you know oats are dry, coconuts dry, white chocolate chunks dry. I agree. It's very very good though. I like those. Mm hmm. It's good. All right, so this one is the oatmeal chocolate chip. And you know, did you say they're gluten-free, mm -hmm. vegan, and non-GMO? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This one's also 110 calories. I think that's interesting, though, that it does have coconut and it doesn't say, because some of you have told me you cannot stand coconut. Um, mm -hmm. So that might that would be a surprise for you, you know, if you bought those, because you wouldn't know. Um, and this looks like it might have coconut, too. Look. Yeah, it's too small for me to read. Okay, I'll look. <laughs> too small for me. So this is gonna... Oh, give me that one. Okay. It's gonna look basically the same. Yes, yeah, so and it's got chocolate So chip. this is chocolate chip. Coconut. Yeah. Mmm. I really like that. Mmm. At first, I thought it was kind of bitter, but then the chocolate kind of worked into it, so where it's not, it's that, kind of like semi-sweet chocolate chips. That really yep. reminds me of chocolate no-bake cookies. Yeah, they could be a little sweeter, truth be told. The first one could have been a little bit sweeter too, but they're good. I like those a lot. I like those better than the first one. They just, because they, they remind me, besides the coconut, 
They serve these no bake cookies in school. We and, made them. and we've made them. If it didn't have the coconut, they would taste exactly like it because they have just the right amount of that chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. um, those are really good though. I like the coconut in them. Right, so these are the peanut butter chocolate. And these are the only ones. These are they're 10. Yeah, they're 10 calories more. Do you want to hold one of these up? Mm, we'll see if it looks the same. It looks, it looks exactly, exactly the same, the same as the last one. Exactly. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And it looks like it has coconut too. Mm. You immediately get peanut butter. Mm-hmm. Coconut. Mm-hmm. Coconut notes seem to be their base. That's the best one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that peanut butter adds a little, I don't say sweetness, but well, kind of like a sweetness. And it's though. good peanut butter. I know it's good actual peanut butter, not mm -hmm. some fake, um, We've tried to duplicate the flavor of peanut. That is so good. Yeah, that one's the best one. Yes, I love that. But that literally tastes like no bake cookies. It does. Peanut butter no bake cookies. Mm -hmm. You can make them yourself with oats and peanut butter. But if you don't have time, or you like the, you know, just want to buy the bag and go. But I like them. Okay, yeah, these are really the uh, white chocolate cranberry. I wonder, since these are kind of dry. Mm -hmm. I I'm gonna have to go to their website and see what else they have because because these are really good. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this one. Can't get into the bag. It says palm oil sustainably sourced, manufactured in the same facility as peanuts and peanuts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they keep wondering. for a long time though. I mean, they're good for like another year. I'm wondering how these would be microwave for like a few seconds. Ooh. I might Ooh. try one on a microwave. Let me get one of the peanut butter ones. Do you want to hold the cranberry up before you go? Hold yeah, that one I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll try this one first. Then. So you can definitely see cranberry. So this is white chocolate cranberry? I'm gonna go heat this up and you can tell, ooh, that one's softer. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Maybe because of the cranberries. But that is a little softer. And it's delicious. And you can really taste the oats. So if you like the flavor of oats and oatmeal anyway you would love these that i think that is delicious so which one did you heat up the peanut butter one. <laughs> okay and it, and it just heated it up very lightly softened up though mm-hmm mm. you wouldn't have to heat them up but heating them up just adds a little bit mm -hmm. more to it. It softens it. Mm -hmm. Well, these are good. I like both. I like these two, my favorite. I like every one. Every one of them is delicious. If you could get any of them, they're all good. But the peanut butter and the cranberry ones are my favorite. Yeah, since they're kind of pricey, uh, my favorite out of all of them would be the peanut butter. Mm, mine too. Yeah, but that cranberry one was really, really good too. That was a good close second for me because I like because it had a little sweetness of that fruit in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with him. Uh, I, I completely agree. Yeah. No, anyway, they're very so, good. Yes, very, very good. I'm so glad I bought these. You mm -hmm. know, when we when we see things like this, they're a little bit different, and they are kind of pricey. It's like, you know, that's that's a lot of money. That's what, like $14. Yeah. Um, so you think, do I want to spend $14? Is it going to be worth it? But this was worth it. I really right. like these. We will keep these and we will eat these. Very, very good. So if you see them, I would try them out. Um, and thanks for watching.